But now, Val, you have many years with the Lord, and uh, if time has taught me anything, that you've probably picked up some tips and tricks along the way of how to do certain things that maybe we're currently frustrated with. So you pray, you believe, you really want it, but nothing's happening. And actually, seems like your problem's getting worse and worse. Do you just put your head down and continue forth in faith? Do you recalibrate? Do you seek a practical, earthly alternative? What if you have migraine headaches? You seem to get one every day. You pray. They just keep getting worse. Do you take the Advil? Is that taken away from your faith? How do we walk in these practical use cases where we maybe pick up a little injury or maybe just have something not right with our stomach? Should we be going to a physician? Should we just seek the Lord in all things? I love the great men of faith, Wigglesworth and some of these guys, but you look at their lives, lots of power and lots of authority, but they were also like, don't read the news, don't do this, don't do this, just the gospel, it's the word, nothing else. So where do, where do we go with all that, knowing that people have walked out that fine line, but also realizing that maybe we're not there? What do we do when these situations arise? I called Grim. <laughs> so, no, that, that, that was a machine gun full of bullets. <laughs> it wouldn't stop. <laughs> um, <clears throat> see, this is, um, yeah, I mean, yes, it's a, it's a loaded question because we all go through different type of things and trials and tribulations. I, I think that's um, what I learned because you said about the years and walking with the Lord. There is nothing that can come to me that's not already known by my Father. Nothing comes to the Son except when the Father it's allowing that and knows that. That means I can do two things. One, if it's Val and it's pain or it's problem, I can try to figure out how Val can get out of it. Right? So there, there are shortcuts, there are things that we know. Um, even dial a prayer. I mean, that's another, you know, dial a prayer, you know, just say this three times a day. And, you know, so it's, they're all kind of things that you learn. But if my purpose is how Val is going to come out of this, then I'm going to look for a way out. If I understand, and it took some years of learning that, but if I understand this is actually the father that's working something inside me, then my first question, okay, is, what's this? What, what, what is, what, what's happening, Lord? Now, why, you know, this uh, headache doesn't go away, or this child still has problems. This, what is going on, right? So, I learned that when at this level, I kind of fill all, check all the boxes, okay? I have something deeper to go and talk to my father. So I have to spend the time to see what is going on. So if, if I understand that from him, and most of the time it's a word, it's um, a feeling, it's a direction that comes, it's a verse from the word, from the Bible. Lots of times there are things that the Father is sending that. And the moment he, the word is coming or the revelation is coming, it positions me in a place of overcoming. So the, the reason we try to check all the boxes and get out of the problem is reacting to problems. But that doesn't make us overcomers. 
just makes us reactors, right? You, you don't have to say so many verses about the, the healing unless you wake up with a backache. And then all the verses of the healing. That's a reaction. That's a reaction. That's, that's not where we live. We live in the healed place, right? So I'm trying to not check all the boxes, not to go to war or to deal with these things at this level and try to understand because the moment I get a hold of him, he, he's showing me. Lots of times he's showing me root, roots, sources, right? Like, you know, I mentioned to some people a couple of days ago, I woke up with a super uh, big pain on, on my hip. And uh, then I, I remember that during the, um, during the night, that's very unusual, so I'm going to talk about super spiritual things now. But uh, some, some witch, somebody, astral projected in, in the bathroom somehow through some type of doors that are open. And that's what he tried to do, he tried to, I don't know, speak curses or do something like that. So I could have, of course I said go, but I could have fight that thing, you know, and could fight this sickness. But instead, the moment I knew exactly how he came in, the healing process started to happen. So I would feel like every single muscle started to get aligned and healed. So in a few minutes, I was completely well. Right? So the moment it takes away the cause. So I would rather spend the time seeking him. Right? And, and really go deeper with that. Don't, don't, don't jump to conclusions. Don't try to go by different patterns of thinking because the psych master, the enemy, got it figured out. He's been doing this for thousands of years and he's got the way of thinking and what you do. I mean, he's got the charismatics and the, well, all, all the people. He, he knows. He can read too. <laughs> he, knows, he knows the books. Probably reads more than we do. Right? That's just trying to do that routine type of thing, uh, yes, it keeps you strong, but when something comes, let's say, from the left field and you don't expect that, don't just react, okay? Don't jump to that. Just stay with the Father. He says, this is not right. This doesn't belong to my body. This doesn't belong to my family. This is... How did it come in? Or what is this, Lord? The value, and that's what I'm, I'm after the fruit, right? So the value of having something directly from him, from relationship. I call this healing by relationship. Or deliverance by relationship. Okay? The value of that relationship experience it, it, it cannot be equaled by anything, right? Um, because it's not my routine, it's not what I try to do, even if all that is good and it keeps, it keeps whatever territory that I want, it keeps it in check and protected. But every time there is something new and the enemy is coming in, and for lots of us, it's coming with all these things. Um, I'm, I'm, I learned not to be in a rush. Stay in the rest. Go deeper. Talk to him. And every single time, there is an answer. Okay? Every time, there is an answer. So, that's me. I was hoping he would have a shortcut. But apparently, the shortcut is talk to your dad and figure out the source.